10 Bad Symptoms of O2 Sensors That You Need to Look Out For Welcome to Exony Views, your go-to source for everything auto repair and maintenance. We've prepared a topic that is essential for you today. We will discuss the 10 bad O2 symptoms, the duration, the causes, and the cost to replace them. But before we get into the details, make sure you subscribe and set the notification never to miss a new update. We are here to provide all the information you need to maintain your vehicle. So let's get started. What is an O2 sensor, and why is it important? The O2 sensors are also known as oxygen sensors and are crucial to your vehicle's emissions control system. They provide feedback to your engine control unit by measuring the oxygen in exhaust gases. This information improves the fuel economy, helps reduce emissions, and increases engine efficiency. What are the signs your O2 sensor may be failing? Stay tuned as we list the top 10 symptoms you should be on the lookout for. We will also talk about the average time it takes to replace an O2 sensor that is faulty, what causes a lousy O2, and how much you can expect to pay. This information will save you both time and money. This video is perfect for anyone who wants to learn more about their car's health, whether they are a DIY mechanic or not. Grab a notebook, and let's explore the world of O2 sensors. Video is dedicated to helping car owners become more informed and confident. Let's start with our list of 10 bad O2 sensor symptoms. Please share this video with anyone who might find this helpful. The oxygen sensor sends measurements of the air-fuel ratio inside an engine's PCM ECU so that it can adjust. The oxygen sensor also considers barometric pressure, altitude, and ambient engine temperatures, among others, to determine if the engine burns lean or rich. If an O2 sensor fails, it cannot accurately control fuel injection, regulate exhaust gases, or ensure fuel combustion. The vehicle will release harmful pollutants and carbon-based compounds with subpar engine performance. The oxygen sensor plays a vital role in the overall performance of a vehicle and its emissions. Therefore, drivers must be able to identify any O2 sensor problems early. Check engine lights, poor gas mileage, and intermittent stalling are all signs you should look for. What are the symptoms of an O2 sensor that is bad? Here are 10 common symptoms of a bad oxygen sensor. 1. Continued failure of emission tests. 2. Check engine light, cell, flashing or illuminated. 3. Stall, misfire, or rough idle. 4. Poor fuel economy gas mileage. 5. Poor engine performance. 6. Engine noises. 7. Black exhaust fumes. 8. The exhaust smells like rotten eggs or sulfur. 9. Sudden catalytic failure. 10. Engine overheating. Don't delay replacing or inspecting your O2 sensor if you have any of these symptoms. These devices are usually near the exhaust system or between the catalytic converter and the manifold. Repairing faulty O2 sensors takes at most 30 minutes, including an ECU reboot, and is relatively easy. If you are still deciding whether to replace them, ask a mechanic or vehicle owner with more experience to help. Bad O2 Sensor Symptoms 1. Continually failing emission tests O2 sensors are emissions devices that reduce air pollutants emitted by a vehicle's tailpipe by regulating its air-fuel mix. These sensors are essential for passing the emissions test required for vehicle registration in most states, although specific locations outside the U.S. do not. It is not uncommon for car owners to fail this test on their first attempt when taking their vehicle for the test. However, failing the emissions tests repeatedly may indicate a problem with your O2 sensor. 2. Check engine light, cell, flashing or illuminated. A defective O2 sensor is one of the most common causes for illuminating the check engine light. It must be evident to most that a faulty O2 sensor can also cause the check engine light, cell, to come on. Some of the error codes you may see on newer models include P0172, System 2 Rich, P0136, 
heated oxygen sensor circuit malfunction, and PO131, O2 sensor circuit low voltage. If you cannot diagnose the problem, it is best to contact your local mechanic. 3. Stalling, rough idling, or misfiring. A suitable O2 sensor will not let your vehicle's oxygen fuel ratio off. This device controls the engine timing and ignition intervals required for efficient combustion. If you experience frequent misfiring or rough idling in your engine, you may be experiencing symptoms of a bad downstream sensor. Power loss, engine stalling, and hesitation are common problems that failing oxygen sensors can cause. Telltale signs include a vehicle that feels sluggish without apparent cause. The rough idling of a vehicle is one of the most common O2 sensor problems drivers will experience. This is followed by misfiring and, finally, vehicle stalling. The first two can cause your car to run much lower than when the engine runs optimally. Misfiring can be ignored for too long or become so severe that the car engine cannot sustain itself. It is difficult to determine if the O2 sensor faults are causing these issues directly or indirectly. To narrow down the source of your problem, you can replace your spark plugs. If you suspect that fuel starvation is the reason for stalling and starting issues, perform a fuel pressure check to rule out this possibility. This test can help determine if there are problems with the fuel regulator, injectors, or other fuel system components. If all these components are in order, replace the bad O2 sensor. 4. Gas mileage, bad fuel economy. Fuel consumption increases slowly with age, especially in older carbureted cars. It is often due to worn-out engine components. If it happens abnormally or soon after installing new oxygen sensors, your vehicle may run rich or lean. This issue can be resolved by changing the carburetor settings or replacing the vacuum hose. This drastic drop in fuel efficiency is a symptom of faulty downstream oxygen sensors and should be replaced, even if the vehicle has no oxygen sensor. 5. Poor engine performance. Combustion difficulties cause poor engine performance due to faulty O2 sensors or an unbalanced air-fuel mixture. This performance drop is usually preceded by misfiring, intermittent idling, or stalling. These symptoms of a bad O2 sensor may disappear once your vehicle moves. Do not be fooled. If not treated early, this could lead to sputtering or, worse, a loss of power. Don't delay that trip to the mechanic. 6. Engine noises. A vehicle with a faulty oxygen sensor fails to control the air-fuel mix, which results in excessive carbon deposits. This results in a lean mixture, which can cause engine knocking, pinging sounds and pre-ignition. This vague symptom does not always indicate a bad O2 sensor. It may also point to a dirty carburetor or the need for some top-end maintenance. It is worth checking the condition of your sensors, mainly if the noises are occurring during idle. 7. Black exhaust fumes. When your O2 sensor is bad, it can cause an imbalance in the air and fuel entering your engine. This happens because the devices designed to regulate air intake and fuel delivery no longer function as they should. It can lead to reduced combustion efficiency, unburned or sooty smoke from your vehicle's exhaust, and high fuel consumption. 8. The exhaust smells of sulfur, rotten egg, black smoke residue and heavy gasoline or sulfuric odors from the exhaust pipe are bad O2 sensor symptoms. In some cases, however, they may indicate a problem in the vehicle's injectors or fuel system. This distinct smell suggests that there is too much fuel in the engine, and the vehicle air fuel mix must be adjusted. You should proceed cautiously and perform troubleshooting measures that address oxygen sensor and fuel system problems. It will help you pinpoint the source of the putrid odor. 9. Sudden catalytic converter failure. Like O2 sensors, catalytic converters are part of the vehicle's emission system. By alternating between lean and rich mixtures, they control the amount of air in the exhaust and reduce toxic gases released in the atmosphere. It is vital to the car's emission system but relies heavily on O2 sensors to work correctly. Catalytic converters will be damaged, to the point where they fail, if the O2 sensors malfunction and the PCM receives the wrong readings. If you experience the following symptoms, one or more of your catalytic converts may malfunction. 1. 
Leaky valves or head gaskets can cause compression misfires. 2. Corrosion and physical damage. 3. Fuel contamination. 4. Cracks in the head gasket can cause internal coolant leaks. 5. Misfiring ignition caused by a fouled plug or a shorted wire. 6. Wearing on valve guides, seals, or rings can cause oil to burn. 10. Engine overheating. One of the rarer symptoms of a bad O2 sensor is persistent engine overheating. It is more commonly associated with a vehicle's electrical or top-end system issues. Overheating can only be a sign that the car owner ignored early warning signs, and the O2 sensors have worn out to the point they are now severely worn. Some drivers, against their better judgment, push their O2 sensors to the limit. This symptom will persist until the sensors are replaced. Causes of Premature O2 Sensor Failure 1. O2 sensors can damage by carbon buildup, grime, dirt, or other debris that enters the fuel and air intake systems. 2. Damage to the O2 sensor area, along with the exhaust system or exhaust manifold. 3. Fuel contaminants, low-quality fuel, or an engine that burns excessive oil can also cause the O2 sensor to become clogged. It will stop accurately measuring fuel delivery. 4. O2 sensors can change if you skip scheduled maintenance, such as changing spark plugs, air filters, fuel filters, and similar items. 5. Fuel additives used for long periods can negatively affect a vehicle's air fuel mix and exhaust fumes. 6. Fuel octane ratings that are lower or incorrect than recommended. 7. They are not adhering to the manufacturer recommended oxygen sensor replacement schedule. 8. Lack of maintenance can cause O2 sensors to become caked up or clogged. 9. Unchecked early signs of faulty O2 sensors. 10. A full vehicle inspection is not performed at least once per year. Replace an O2 sensor at a cost of Estimated oxygen sensor replacement costs are based on the vehicle's model, year, and make. They also include labor charges if a mechanic is doing the work. New oxygen sensors cost between $30 and $300. Hourly labor rates can range between $40 and $200, but they may change depending on how many sensors you need to replace, whether it is difficult to access these emission devices, or where you take your car. It is easy to replace O2 sensors. A skilled professional can do it in a half hour or for $100. This would be accurate unless there were complications with the vehicle's emission system. The cost of replacing an oxygen sensor is lower if it's not worn out severely. If you include other components in the same category, vehicle owners could face a collective cost of $500 to $2,500. How long do O2 sensors last? You can find a lot of information online that gives varying answers to this question. O2 sensors are said to last between 30,000 to 100,000 miles. An oxygen sensor's longevity depends on a vehicle's age and condition. O2 sensors in cars manufactured within the past 15 years last 30,000 minus 50,000 miles, or 3 to 5 years. Modern vehicles have O2 sensors lasting 60,000 to 100,000 miles or 7 to 10 years. Can driving a car with a bad oxygen sensor be harmful? It is counterintuitive to continue driving despite having bad O2 sensor symptoms. By driving the vehicle, you are releasing harmful fumes and causing further damage to your engine. You will not save money by delaying the replacement of faulty sensors. You are dangerously driving a car whose O2 sensor cannot accurately monitor air intake or fuel delivery. The majority of these problems are preventable when addressed quickly. These are not exhaustive tips, but they should help you to prevent O2 sensor problems before they happen. This is where we come to an end to this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.